Hey everybody, this is Pastor Michael at Ascension Lutheran Church in Torrance, California. It's time for another midweek boost. If you were at church on Sunday, or if you heard the message online, you'll remember that we talked about Jesus being rejected in his own hometown of Nazareth. He was rejected largely because the people had uh, different expectations of what the Messiah should be. Expectations that they weren't willing to release, to let go of. And when they heard Jesus speaking, he simply did not meet those expectations, and so they rejected him. And it says that Jesus marveled at their unbelief. Well, why would he marvel? Well, it's, it's because of the nature of the word. And, and here we have the word made flesh and and dwelling among them, the, the word of God, bringing the message of God to them. And yet they still didn't believe when the, when the word has the power to penetrate us and to create faith. This is why he marveled that they would still refuse to believe, even though the Holy Spirit was at work in them to create faith in them. They simply would not let go of those expectations. And they had the wrong expectations of who the Messiah was. They wanted somebody who was going to free them from Roman oppression. They wanted somebody who was going to make their lives easier, remove pain and suffering from their lives. All those are good things, and God ultimately does promise us. He's going to get rid of all the bullies one day. And there will be no more pain or suffering. There will be no more sin. That day is coming, but it's not yet. If, however, your expectations of God are not that he's going to free you from all those things just yet, but that he bring forgiveness and mercy to you, a poor sinner, well, then your, your expectations are spot on. Because that's precisely what he did come to do. That's what he died for. He took on the sins of the whole world so that we would be made right before God. Everyone who believes in Jesus looks at the cross and understands what he has done for us is counted as righteous before God. If that's what your expectations of a Savior are, then when you hear the message of the cross, you believe because the power of the Holy Spirit can penetrate your heart and create faith in you so that you grab a hold of that message, cling to it for life, life eternal. But don't be the people like the people in Nazareth Or like the people in Antioch that Paul was talking to when he quotes Habakkuk and he says, Look, scoffers, be astounded and perish, for I'm doing a work in your days, a work that you will not believe, even if somebody tells you. Paul is urging them, don't be those people that hear the word and refuse to believe because you've got some expectations that you're not willing to get rid of. There are many who have expectations of God that he's going to make life easy. He ought to make life easy if he really does love us. And that he would get rid of all the bullies in the world. And that pain and suffering should be gone. And as long as there's pain and suffering, as long as there's evil in the world, they're not going to believe in a God who would allow that. Don't let that be you. Understand what our true expectations should be of God and of the Messiah. That he's a God who wants to show mercy to people who don't deserve it. If you understand that you're a sinner and in need of God's mercy and forgiveness, 
then when the word of God comes to you, the Holy Spirit will operate and create faith in you so that you cling to the message of the cross. Be that person who knows that you're a sinner and who can't wait to hear the message over and over and over again of God's great love for you, that he would become a man and suffer and die, taking on sin into himself so that we would be made righteous. Have a great day, everybody.